Hey, what's going on, metal fans and music fans? Welcome to Skid Goer's Metal Meltdown. This is the first section of this video, so let's get started. First off, we have a band from France, a black metal band from France called Antiaeus, with their album Cut Your Flesh and Worship Satan. It's uh, one of my favorite modern black metal bands for sure these guys are badass they're from france originally was on bathame records which was uh killjoy of necrophagia's label you put that on there but it also was re-released on vinyl fucking killer album man if you're a fan of second wave norwegian black metal for sure i think you'll dig this they do their own thing with it my favorite song are those with no eyes. That's a great song. But the whole record smokes. Definitely highly recommended. NTS. If I said that wrong, I'm, I apologize. I'm not the greatest pronouncer in the world, but Black Metal from France. Badass shit for sure. Next up, I don't know where the cover went for this, so I just grabbed the CD. But that is Buzz Oven. At a loss. My favorite Buzz Oven record. Sludge Metal Personified. These guys and I Hate God are pretty much like kindred spirits. They tour together and uh, kind of have both the same style a little bit. A lot of drug and alcohol references. Badass killer riffage. Buzz Oven at a loss. Sludge Metal Personified. And next up, we have another black metal band. Sorry for that glare. Called Memorial. Focus. Enter my Megaron. I don't know if I said that right. These guys are badass. They kind of remind me a bit of a an old immortal, like from uh, I would say pure Holocaust era. It's kind of the vibe I get with their music. But they were a badass band. They are also another band that was on Vathame Records, Killjoy's label. I pretty much got all his releases he put out on his label. But Memorial is a badass, immortalist type black metal band for sure. I'd highly recommend these guys. I don't know if they're still a band though. I haven't really heard much about them. Then we're going to go to some hardcore with Void slash End the Faith. Badass hardcore band. Very influential. God, that glare is terrible, huh? Yeah, this is a split. Void didn't put out many songs, but the ones that they did are definitely admirable for the hardcore scene. Crust Punk. This is actually a pretty damn cool release. You got like all, uh, Really cool put pictures in here. This is the faith side. And yeah, here's the void. It's a really badass set. I like it a lot. Void were ahead of their time, I think. The faith is great as well. If you're a fan of bands like uh, Negative Approach, Poison Idea, Black Flag, Minor Threat, bands like that. You'll definitely dig Void and also The Faith. Great. Um, we have another black metal band here called Stagels. <laughs> Don't make me pronounce that because I can't. <laughs> that is. Yeah, I can't pronounce that at all. I don't even know what language that is. I imagine it's Norwegian. I think this is Norwegian black metal, I believe. This is another release that was on Bathame Records, Killjoy's label. They put out other albums as well, but this is the one I got. I think this one is out of print. But yeah, this is a badass album. If you're a fan of uh, Dark Throne, Burzum type, cold black metal, I think you'll dig Stagels. Great fucking shit. Uh, let's see what else we got. 
Oh, we have a non, a first non-metal. I'm a fan of all kinds of music, whether it's like uh, the extreme of the extreme or the mellowest of the mellow. You know, I just like it all. But uh, here we go. Here's Genesis. <laughs> we can't dance. <laughs> Love Genesis. I've been a fan of Genesis. Great musicians. Obviously, Phil Collins. Badass. I'm a fan of all kinds of music. I don't label myself to just one style. So we go from Genesis to, wow, to Repulsion, the band that pretty much started it all as far as grindcore goes. Monumental album, way ahead of its time in every fucking way. These, these guys, this album is timeless. Grindcore, extreme metal fans, death metal fans, etc. Hail to Repulsion, horrified. Absolutely. One of the best, most influential grindcore death metal albums ever. And some of these are actually burned. I apologize, you know. Tool, Later Alice. Later, I can't pronounce that. Tool is a great band. I always loved them. Still do. Up next we have Roti Mar, Serpents of the Church. This is a badass doom metal band. I believe they're from Australia. But definitely trouble and cathedral type worship. Really heavy ass riffage. Sabbath worship as well. Um, yeah, they're really damn good. If you're fans of definitely like bands like Pentagram, Witchfinder General, Cathedral. I think you'll dig this band for sure. Doom Metal Personified for sure. I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about these guys, but yeah, they're really good. I got a lot of these albums on uh, Redstream back when they had their website. Uh, up next, we have Demi Borgir. Throwing Darkness Triumphant. Badass album. I have Spiritual Black Dimensions. That's a great one as well. I got to upgrade for sure. And I got Death Cult Armageddon. I got Stormblast somewhere. I just couldn't find it at the time. But Demi Borger, everyone knows them. They should know them. They're black metal gods for sure. And I have another burn one here. Gorguts considered dead. I also have Obscura somewhere. Uh, I definitely would like to get the actual album of this because I love this band and this album. Definitely great death metal for sure. Classic death metal. Uh, the dude from At the Gates. This is his other band after At the Gates, called The Crown. And I always loved this album, Crowned in Terror. I always thought this was a badass album. Forget the dude's name. That guy right there he kills his name. Anyway, he sang an At the Gates. They definitely have an At the Gates feel to their music, but the crown is great. Crown and Terror, hell yeah. And we have Soil. Scars, a little more new metalish, I guess, but uh, still pretty cool. I remember that song Halo that was pretty big on the radio. They're all right. Hard to believe the dude from Broken Hope was actually in that band. Total different style, but hey, it's cool. Then we have Arcturnus with their monumental album. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Hellhammer on drums. Hellhammer's a fucking beast on the drums. We all know. Probably one of my favorite black metal drummers for sure. But this is a great album. Any fans of Norwegian black metal, this is definitely essential. And we're going to some Funeral Doom here. With Evoken. Quietus. Love Evoken. They definitely have a their own style. 
a funeral doom that they play. Heavy as hell, man. Some heavy ass riffage on these. Um, there's there's many albums by Evoking to get. This is the one I have. This is the one I could find. But I really do love it a lot. Fucking great funeral doom, death doom type metal. Awesome. Uh, let's see. We have two more bands. Rest in peace to the late great Frank Pucci, Killjoy. This is Ravenous. Super group with uh, Chris Rayford, Autopsy, and uh, Daniel Lake, Licker of uh, Nuclear Assault, Brutal Truth, many other bands. But yeah, Ravenous, Assemble of Blasphemy. This is pretty much like the uh, Autopsy album that Autopsy never made. It sounds like it could have came off right after either Severed Survival or Mental Funeral. And I was lucky enough to get it signed by the great man himself when I saw him once. This is a great fucking album. Orgy and Dog's Blood is probably my favorite track. Fucking badass old school death metal the way it should be. Disgusting. Then we have Three on a Meat Hook. It's kind of like an EP, I guess. Yeah, there's not a lot of songs on here, but... Definitely, uh, I Drink Your Blood and Three on a Meat Hook are great horror films, as we all know. <laughs> These guys are horror personified, for sure. Three on a Meat Hook. And I also have it on vinyl as well. Three on a Meat Hook. Fucking badass. And their last album, Blood Delirium, with the infamous August Underground cover. That is badass. Great album, great send off. Wish they would have made more. But yeah, it definitely was a death metal super group. Loved it, man. That was some great shit. And we have, lastly, of course, we have the mighty Cannibal Corpse. Eaten back to life. Amazing fucking record. A lot of thrash elements within it. And then going to Butchered at Birth. This is an old CD with the old logo. I love it. And then we have Tomb of the Mutilated. Classic. the last Chris Barnes album, The Bleeding. I'm a fan of all Cannibal Corpse. I like uh, the Barnes era and the George Fisher era. Corpse Grinder is one of the nicest fucking guys you'll ever meet. Respect the neck. <laughs> Gallery of Suicide. One of the first death metal albums I ever heard. Wish I had the uncensored version, but it's kind of hard to find. Bloodthirst is probably my favorite. Hacksaw Decapitation is one of my favorite Cannibal Corpse songs. Wish they'd play that. Live Cannibalism. Also came out a really badass. I have the VHS somewhere, but this is the DVD of Live Cannibalism show, which was filmed in Milwaukee. I unfortunately was not at that show, but I caught the next one on the Gorbsest tour. And we have Gorbsest. Great album. Then the Worm Infested EP. That was a good one. Then we go into the Wretched Spawn. I saw this tour as well. That was amazing. Festering in the Crypt, one of my favorites. Cannibal Corpse has never had a bad album. The Kill, I saw this tour. Unbelievable. Rob Barrett back in the band. Evisceration Plague, enjoyed this one a lot. Oh yeah, before I forget, we got this big ass awesome set here. 15 year killing spree. So much badass goodies on there. 
you're a Cannibal Corpse fan. And I actually have this upside down, I apologize. <laughs> yeah. Get all that good shit on there. Amazing. And then I might as well do this one. Ready? You know, Centuries of Torment DVD. Fuck yeah. Amazing documentary. What it takes to be in a death metal band. Really rare shit. A lot of uh, performances. We got Torture. Scourge of Iron is probably the one of the heaviest songs I've ever heard. That's a great opener for their shows. We have a Skeletal Domain, which I think is kind of an underrated corpse album. I think it's really fucking badass. And this is the last uh, Pat O'Brien record, I believe. Yep. Red Before Black. Fuck yeah. And I just saw this tour, it was fucking amazing. Eric Rutain. Replacing Pat O'Brien, doing a hell of a great job. Carrying on the legacy of this badass band. Timeless death metal. Real fucking death metal. Old school death metal, the way it's supposed to be played. Fuck yes. So that is my first section of Skid Gore's Metal Meltdown. And I'll have some more metal and music in the future. Kind of taking a break from horror for a while and getting into some music. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and subscribing. Stay metal.